the truth is in different seasons we do get different diseases that's why i told you that during the rainy season we should have sulfur dimadine at the farm because we do expect a lot of uh, diarrheas we do expect to have um, uh, um, much much resistant diarrheas and that is caused by there are so many multiplication of the the the, 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 the infections like um, uh, E. coli bacillosis, salmonellosis, mostly the, 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 the clostridiums. So basically, if you have, uh, let's say, gentamicin, you have uh, sulfadimidine, though uh, gentamicin also has uh, sulfur in it, but there is those persistent diarrhea. That's when we can bring in the um, gentamicin. So you should have um, scorban, those are sulfurs. You should have oxy 10%, that is an antibiotic. We should also have um, gentamicin, which is an antibiotic too. And uh, you should have hydrogen peroxide. Uh, hydrogen peroxide, the reason why I decided to put it on the list is that um, we do expect a lot of uh, uh, off, basically, because Kids run away most of the time. They do run away, they go to the dew, and then they get off. So most of you have not vaccinated for uh, off. So that's why we always have to have the um, hydrogen peroxide, and that one will help us to scrub uh, those uh, membranes in the mouth that are really eaten by the infection. So you scrub it, and then clean it very well, and then you inject so on the list, I also included the pen and strep. I think you do remember, uh, because that is also another strong antibiotic, basically for those that are having wounds and so on. So we do also have um, the Munyankore, uh, they call it Okchumba Gira, and in Uganda, Twitter, Okuremara, and in other languages, that is limping. Uh, that is basically because of the rain if the rain is there we do always get what they call the uh, foot foot rot and then remember during the rainy season all the membranes are soft just because of the water so even if an animal um, steps on um, on the thorn and remember basically goods feed from up so what happens if they step on the thorn, it will definitely enter straight. Just because the, um, the tissues of the hoof, okay, let's say the hoof itself is soft. So it is very easy for the thorn to go inside. That's why you do expect an animal to limp. You do expect a lot of uh, diarrhea just because of the clostridiums, which are so many. You do expect um, a lot of foot rot just because of the bacteria that have accumulated. So, in actual sense, uh, during the rainy season, we do expect a number of diseases. That's why I told you, in our kit, you don't forget about the surgical blade, and that is the abscesses, because abscess is also a bacteria that is really accumulated a lot in the uh, rainy season. So, we do get a lot of issues during the rainy season. But in your kit, you shouldn't forget about pen and strip. I told you, things concerning with wounds, that will be the possible uh, solution. Uh, don't forget about hydrogen, per hydrogen peroxide. That's what I told you, that hydrogen peroxide will be used for scrubbing all, raising all the abscesses and so on. We do, um, I told you to have um, oxe because that is like panado on the farm that you shouldn't have to forget about. You, you have to have scorban because those are strong sulfates that can really help in diarrhea. I told you bacteria and infections are so many. Clostridias are so many during this season. I told you you should have gentamicin because that is a very strong antibiotic. And uh, you can use it of, if all these other antibiotics have failed to work. Mostly the sulfates. So, cotton wool and surgical gloves. A list so if you have that in your kit that means you can manage that so during the rainy season that is the list that you're supposed to have and uh, during the dry spell we do have a disease that really disturbs uh, actually not a disease but it's a parasite 
uh, basically it is always one that is disturbing us during the dry spell that's why we always tell you that we synchronize animals produce at a go and in a dry spell so that we minimize a lot of diseases and then we uh we only stay we fight with one because remember the dust is many during the rainy season and the fleas sorry the dust is many is much during the dry spell so we do expect the fleas because the fleas their cycle is always in the um in the in, in the dust so we do expect a lot of dust and we do expect fleas fleas kills actually it kills mostly the kids so what we only do is just to fight with it using the doodoo -doo dust and omo. So, basically, during the, the, the rainy season, we do have a lot of trouble. And then during the dry spell, we do have little trouble. But we just fight for that. That's the reason why we're supposed to at least receive a number of kids during the dry spell. So basically, you can even see the advantage of being in an exercising area. So guys are all over. They are enjoying and uh you see everything is proper so i think uh for now i just have to wish you i think the best and uh, you can see how things are done the rain rain um it went to some part of the house which is okay it's now drying up so after raining guys came out and now they are delivering milk to their babies so thank you very much as for now and uh, i wish you the best for now um uh, Questions are welcome. I'll be able to at least answer. Thank you very much.